part of the season feel different than last year? Oh uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Uh, we just, uh, I think everybody had good summers and summer was so long. I think everybody was just uh, excited to get back to playing. You know, and uh, we got a couple new guys. We started new center. It just feels like everything is a little bit more fresher than it was last year. Um, so the enthusiasm is there every single day, and um, it's always great playing in the atmosphere like Brooklyn. Kevin, the Nets kept fighting until the end tonight. But what do you think of, about the performance of the Warriors tonight? Are you satisfied? I don't think we're ever satisfied. I think we had some good spurts. We're not looking to, uh, obviously we want to play a great game, but we know uh, that we're still learning and getting better. Um, I liked how we uh, kind of controlled the game up until like the fourth, you know, and they they made threes. You know, I think the three-pointer kept them in the game and kept, them, kept the crowd in the game as well. So some of them were some great contests. A couple of them were open, but uh, I think the three-pointer got them back in the game and then we had to, we had to play a little bit and execute down the stretch. So uh, it was a solid out for us. Kevin, why do you think you and Steph have been able to catch such a great rhythm early this season? Why do you think it's been? Uh, I think we're just making shots. I think we're playing faster. The game is a little faster, so uh, you know we get now transition a lot and uh, just making shots. You know, I think uh, it's a long season. I'm sure, we're gonna have games where we uh, we're up and down with our shooting. Uh, I hope not, but I'm sure it's gonna be some games throughout the year. And, other guys will come and have to knock down shots for us, but I think we're, uh, I think we're both just coming into the game trying to focus on uh, how hard we can play on both ends, and our offense is starting to come around. Kevin, joy is a word that is often used around this team. What is it about? You guys had the Fergie video on Friday. You didn't have so much fun on the court. What is it about this team and you guys? You guys really seem to enjoy being with one another, and how important is it going to be to bring Boogie into that when he's back? Uh, we enjoy playing the game. I think we got a great uh, atmosphere every day. We wake up to go to the gym. Uh, we play a lot of music before practice starts, doing warm ups. I think that kind of uh, puts it at puts us at ease a little bit. You know, it's just real loose as far as you know. It's not too structured as far as like off the court stuff. Then on the court, I think we play with a little bit of uh, swagger and edge. And, a little bit of anger sometimes, and I think that's good for us. You know, you see guys, you see Draymond in his mode and Clay in his mode. They don't really say much, but we know that they're they're ready to play. So I think we got a good mix of guys that play uh, off different emotions. And uh, Steph is the guy that, you know, he, when he's uh, enjoying where he's at at the moment is uh, is out of this world how good he is. So I think a lot of guys have different emotions that they play on, but. The, the main thing is that uh, everybody accepts everyone for who they are, and uh, we're going to do the same with Boogie when he comes back. This is a little random, but um, yesterday one of your teammates said you had the best crossover in the league. Um, what Who said that? Uh, oh, yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he got hit with that a couple times yeah. this summer. <laughs> he, he said that. Um, what makes it so effective and such an important part of your game? Uh, man, just... Uh, I use, when I start hopping with the basketball, I kind of playing with a little bit more energy when I got the ball in my hands. You know, I feel like I can just use my creativity to kind of get free and get open. And, um, you know, playing against guys my whole career, I get up into my dribble. So I learn how to be a little bit more physical. I have it a little bit more wider in my crossover. You know, it's just, I could speak all day about the game, but I just feel like uh, just so my experience just allowed me to be more creative out there and it's starting to just, my instincts just take over after a while. Kevin, as the season goes forward, are there any tricks to staying sharp as you get into regular season games in December, January? I mean, this team's obviously a championship-oriented team, but after last year, do you learn anything about ways to stay sharp in those games? Uh, just take care of your body. I think the preparation before the game starts is uh, the most important thing. I think everybody here is a tr uh, true pro. Uh, you got veterans that know exactly what they need from their bodies every day and, and what they need to put in, the work they need to put in on the court. Um, you know, I think that'll get us ready for when the games start to really count later in the season. I think right now we're all trying to figure out how we're going to play different lineups, different substitu substitution patterns. So um, more so than anything, it's about the individual work and then, you know, learning the game and learning the schemes every single day, and, you know, how we need to play because, you know, in a series, you might play a different lineup. We might play a different scheme. So I think we just got to be ready for anything that's thrown at us out there. And I think the best way to do that is to be prepared before the game starts. Do you think the infusion of new guys helps? Like Jarev goes and won a championship. DeMarcus says, do you think guys that haven't done it, will that help is staying sharp? Uh, I mean, it's 
it's definitely good for us to kind of have that. Good for coach more so than us, the players to have that. A couple new players that you got to learn throw into the game. I think uh, Jonas, uh, he made the tip in last week against Utah. And, um, I think that was what coach wanted to see. And then you got Fonzo McKinney, who's playing incredible basketball. So I'm just so happy for he got his opportunity. Coach throwing him in the lineup. So now as players, we got to make adjustments on, you know, how can we help those guys and what do they, what positions do they need to be in to be successful? I think that's the, that's the great part about the game is just figuring that stuff out like that. And, um, I think coach is doing a good job, great job actually, of uh, making adjustments and. You know, teaching us every single day on what we need to do. Uh, defense for one, I think it's offensive rebounding, flying in, um, flying in from the wings. I think it's going to uh, a lot of teams are going to put them in the scout report now. So now defenses might stick on them a little bit more. Now we got a little bit more space over there. So him running to the rim is like a it's like a cut for a wide open three pointer because it's creating so much havoc. And he's getting more confident shooting the three. We want him to be aggressive, man. We we, we don't care who shoots the ball as long as it's a good shot. And uh, you know, he's knocking that thing down. So hopefully it continues and we gotta support him and encourage him every minute he's on the floor because he's uh He's one of those guys that can be in the league for a while, so um, just wanted to take advantage of this opportunity. Kevin, you won everything in the past two years, including the MVPs at the finals. How do you avoid getting too relaxed? How do you keep fighting every day to improve if it's even possible to do better? Uh, I just love to play. Um, I feel like at this point when you experience so much, just the, the childlike joy for the game is starting to show even more. So, you know, just get up and go. Go hoop, really. That's all it is for for me. And um, when you got smart players and players that enjoy the game as much as you, it makes it easier. You're making twos well, three that yeah. hasn't been seen since like Shaq and you know, three. How much do you take pride in this era, this you know three point heavy era, of just kind of being able to score at every dot on the floor? Yeah, uh, just I work on uh, different shots every day, and you know whatever the defense presents to me, I try to be ready for it. In the league, they try to take away your strengths, uh, what you like to do every single night. So uh, if a team likes to take away my drive or my three-pointer um, uh, on my post-up, I just try to play other parts of the game to, to be effective. And, uh, you know, it's something I try to think about every time I step on the floor to work out.